Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas. We are on day, what are we filming? We are on day 15. Oh my goodness. I think I've hit the halfway. Is that the halfway? It's like the almost halfway point. I am so excited. I just, I am so excited because today is another collab with another powerful female here on YouTube, my friend Britt Clark. She actually has just been loving multi-chromes lately and I don't know how she found Cleonade but we were literally talking the day the restock was happening and we're like, what are you ordering and what are you ordering? And I'm like, I'm ordering this and she's ordering that. And it, it's been hilarious. Like just the two of us on our little makeup journey to buy makeup. We were just really good at it. Anyway, I think you guys would love Brit's channel if you love my content. It's very similar. She loves to swear, which of course is totally on brand for me. And uh, yeah, she's just really, really good at makeup and she's got this amazing like foundation routine that you guys should check out. So lots of cool stuff. I don't want to give too much away, but I will go ahead and link her channel and her swatch party video down in my description box so you guys can enjoy that. Okay, so I feel like I've talked forever and ever, but without further blabbering, let's get into my Cleanod stained glass collection swatch party. Shana shana shana. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I had to throw in Bailey Syrian. Love her. Anyway, okay, let's get into it. Okay, guys, are you guys ready to see this palette? Um, you guys are gonna die. It's 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 really like really beautiful. Your screen may shatter. Just just be warned. Ah, oh my god. Look at this. Are you seriously kidding me right now? So I did a thing. Um, these are their um, jewel tone multi-chromes, which I've already swatched on my channel before. So I have six of those shades that comes in their rainbow jewel tone bundle um, right here. Gorgeous. I'll try and remember to link that video too in case you guys want to see the jewel tone swatches. And then this row, this is the row of new shadows. These six shades right here are their glitter multi-chrome formula. Stunning. And then these are, these five right here are the JD Glow multi-chromes. I wanted to keep all my multi-chromes in one spot, just so you guys know. These are the Sydney Grace multi-chromes that they sent me this summer. It was part of their Christmas in July sale that they do every year. And then these three are the Cleonade Iridescent multi-chromes, which are also new. I did pick those up in this order. Now, there is an unnamed subscriber that I do want to thank because she sent me a generous gift and that's how I was able to place this Cleonade order. It was so sweet of her and she told me not to say her name so I just want to take the time to thank her because honestly it's so sweet like I didn't even expect it. I was like please no and she's like you have no idea how much money you've saved me. <laughs> it was really like the most flattering thing to ever hear from somebody also like RIP my bank account but I really appreciate that she did that for me so just want to say thank you to her. She knows who she is and I literally can't thank her enough. So I know she watches my videos like every video. So I know she's going to see this and I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Seriously, I really appreciate it. So I thanked everyone. I want to get to swatching. I'm just so excited. This palette is just so satisfying to me. So let's start with the row of the um iridescent so i picked they actually have a bunch of other iridescent shades but i picked the ones that are the more expensive and they come in their own little bundle and i just thought these were my favorites from all the swatches it's so hard to decide guys that's why i think like swatch party videos are so important with this collection especially on my skin tone like i couldn't find anyone that was a tan person that had swatches of these shadows so oh my god <laughs> i've been like putting these in my inner corner and i'm just like dying do you guys see this deliciousness okay so these shades are glimmer glow and glisten here's my fingers oh my god smear it all over my body <laughs> These are stunning. I'll try and remember to put what I paid for these on the screen and I'm going to insert close-ups right here for you guys. Hey. 
Okay guys, so now that you've seen the iridescent shades that I have, I am going to swatch the glitter multi-chromes. So I have three that are more like coppery shades, not really. I have two coppery shades. One shade is on my eyes right now and I'm wearing the shade foiling, which is stunning. And then I have a few more like more whimsical shades. So I'm just gonna stop blabbering. I don't know why I'm trying to talk and explain things when the swatches will speak for me. I haven't swatched them yet. <laughs> Do you see this? Oh my god. Okay, so this first shade is one that Angelica and I believe Amy also said. I think Angelica for sure said, like, you have to get um, Gris Griselli? Griselli? Grisali? I don't know. It's, oh my god, it's so pretty. It's like a red to blue. Do you guys see that? <gasps> I could cry right now. They're so pretty. <gasps> <laughs> Brit, I don't know if you got that shade, but it's gorgeous. Okay, this is a shade on my eyes called Foiling. Oh my god, let me see if I can... You can see it on a black base, like towards my outer corner, because I had a dark brown. You can see the green flip, and it's like freaking stunning. So that's Foiling. And then Corrosion is one I know for sure Amy said, Karen, you must get Corrosion. You guys ready? Oh my fuck. I'm sorry, I'm swearing, but I just can't handle it. I just can't. <laughs> I just can't handle it. Oh my god, Grisilles is so pretty. Okay, look at my fingers. Look at my fingers. Oh my god, look at my fingers. <laughs> Have you seen anything more beautiful in your fucking life? Okay, you guys ready? I'm not ready. Am I ready? I don't think I'm ready. Oh my god. <gasps> ah! Oh, oh boy. That's so pretty. It's like a minty pinky. Oh. Okay, those two are kind of similar. Oh. <gasps> ah! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> really making weird sounds right now. Brittany, I'm sorry. But I just can't. <laughs> They're so beautiful. I could die. I could seriously die. Okay, guys, so here's all the deliciousness. I'm going to go ahead and insert a close-up for you guys, which I film on my phone, and I'm just sitting here, and I'm filming it on my phone. But hopefully it'll capture the shifts a little bit better for y'all. Okay guys, so since I love these eyeshadows so, so much, I wanted to film a little demo of how I use some of these shades. So actually I didn't use a lot of them, I just used foiling, everything else is from the Juvia's Place Nomad palette. But I thought you guys may appreciate seeing how I pack these onto my lids. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that demo right here. Okay guys, so I want to do a little demo of the Clianod stained glass eyeshadows, but I want to film a quick like matte crease and stuff with the Nomad palette. I picked this guy up on Ulta's website. So, um, Juvia's Place is sold on Ulta's site in case you guys didn't know. So I'm just going to try and keep it simple. I'm going to go into this brown color right here, this palette. It's just like the start to my grungy train. I just remember when they you know, previewed this, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so stunning. I love that color story, but with Juvia's, I always like jump the gun and like buy something and I don't end up really getting much use out of it. So I've been trying not to buy like all of their palettes, just the ones that like really speak to me. Um, so I was able to grab the Nomad and the Warrior 3. I think that was a colorful palette. Can't remember if I filmed an eye look with that one yet, but Angelica made me buy that one. I wasn't planning on buying it. Then she did like this stunning three looks with one palette video and she featured the Warrior and I was like, mm, I'm gonna need that. So I bought it. I think I used my Ulta points though. So I basically got these for free. So 
I was just messily blending that into the crease and then I'm gonna go into this cream color and just throw that on the brow bone. I don't usually do brow bone colors, but I've really been into it. I've really been into it recently. I think it's because I got my brows done and she did a good job of like carving that lower part. So I've been just like really, really into it. Okay, next I'm gonna go into this dark brown color. I'm gonna pick a different brush, maybe something a little bit smaller. This one will do, this is the Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm gonna go into this brown shade right here. And I'm just gonna make the outer corner a little bit smoky. These mattes do feel a little bit drier than what I'm usually used to with Juvia's Place, but. That's okay, we can make it work. Now, I like that smokiness. I'm just gonna go back into that big fluffy blender and just mesh, mesh, mesh those two colors together because we never want like a harsh line unless that's the look you're going for, which, you know, that's cool. I've seen it done before, so. And then I'm just intensifying some more just tapping and then blending into the crease. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. And then just blending with the fluffy blush. Very nice. Okay, I love that. So now I just wanna show you guys how I've been using the Cleonade shadows, the stained glass shadows. These are the ones in my collection right here. I have the jewel tones and then the um, iridescent ones are up here and then the glitter multi-chromes. And I've been really wanting to play with these two shades right here because I've been playing with all like the fun colored ones. So let's see here. I'm looking at possibly doing um, either foiling or corrosion on my lid today. They're so beautiful. <laughs> okay, should I swatch those two shades? Uh, ooh, oh, these are so pretty. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with foiling. Um, so I've tried these with glitter glue and I've tried them without glitter glue, just wetting the brush. And I wore these shades to work yesterday, just wetting the brush. So, so that's what I'm going to do. So I think I'm going into, did I decide? God, they're so pretty. Okay. I'm going to do foiling cause it's more gold. So I'm just taking a flat brush and I'm just tapping the top, seeing if it's picking up any product, which it doesn't really look like it is. Oh, there it is, okay. And I'm just placing that on my lid. That's all I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna try and wet it just to see if that helps with the pigmentation. These shadows are so pretty. Makeup God's gift to makeup lovers. Do you guys see this? It's so pretty and I did get a little bit of fallout yesterday because I wore the shade enamel on my lid. Um, but it stayed on really good and I just pack, 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 pack. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a gold with a green. This one's like really crumbly though. Oh my God, I can see the shift in my mirror. And I just do like a full cut crease. I don't do a full blown, that's a lot of glitter. I should probably use glitter glue just to demo it for you guys. But honestly, glitter glue is so messy. If I can get away with just like wetting my brush and packing things on, I do, I do try to do that. <laughs> so my shadows arrived like a couple of days ago and I've just been like obsessed with them and Wow. Wow. I almost feel like I should do a different color on this eye just so you guys could see the different shades I picked up. Should I? <gasps> Maybe I should. On a scale of one to 10, how weirded out would you guys be if I did that? 
Ah, uh, okay, I do have to be somewhere after this, so probably not today, but. So yeah, I'm just picking it up. My brush is still pretty damp. And just, I love this so much. I want the whole collection. Um, I don't think Cleonade has a bundle where you can just add to cart and go, but <laughs> um, I want it all. I want it all, I want it all. You can like really see the shift where my eyeshadow, like I added the Juvia's Play shadow, I can see like the shift from green to gold. Ah, it's stunning. Okay, so this is it for the demo. I'm gonna put my face on and then come back. I just wanted to show you guys how I kind of use them on like a daily basis and how I apply the shadows. Like I said, you can definitely use a glitter glue um, there is quite a bit of glitter fallout on my face, but that doesn't really bother me because I'll just clean it up before I finish off the rest of my face. If you guys do have any questions about how to apply these shadows, leave them down below. And if I don't know the answer, I can always reach out to Cleonade and find out. Also, they do send you like a little booklet on how to best apply these different formulas and textures and things like that because I think a lot of people do struggle with them. I, like I said, just use this flat brush to pick it up, and this is a concealer brush technically by Mor Morphe. It's an M224. Sometimes I like to use my Sonia G. This is the Builder Pro, and I used this one yesterday when I played with the purpley blue shade called Enamel. So yeah, you can just use different, you know, tools as long as you can like pack things on. I say it works out just fine and I've used the Jewel Multichromes just again wet on a wet brush and it's totally fine. So like I said, gonna go finish this look up and I will be right Okay guys, so here is the final look. I hope you love how this turned out. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this Cleonade stained glass collection. It is so, so beautiful. Definitely one of my favorite things from 2019. Oh my goodness. And I think Indie Makeup Spotlight was saying that they are gonna add to the stained glass collection, so that'll be really fun. I'm of course convinced now that I need more of them. I, yeah, it's bad. They are so spendy, but so worth it. They're so, so fun to have in my collection. I would totally recommend you guys checking them out if you are interested in the multi-chrome sensation that is sweeping the nation. Oh my God, all of that rhymed. Pat on the back for me. Anyway guys, I just wanna thank Britt for suggesting that we collab on this video. Please, please, please go ahead and check out her channel. She is so funny. She does a lot of lives. She does just really good content and her skills are just off the wall when it comes to makeup. So I really, really love her channel and I think you guys will too. She just really marches to the beat of her own drum and that's something I really appreciate about content creators. She's not trying to like please anybody or make anybody happy or be anybody's mouthpiece. So I really, really enjoy that about her. I hope you guys are having a fabulous fabulous holiday season. Please don't forget to go ahead and enter my giveaway, my Vlogmas slash 4K giveaway. I would love for somebody to win some fabulous prizes and surprises and I will see you guys in my video tomorrow which will be another collab with another one of my favorite YouTubers. So see you guys soon. Bye!